I never knew that was the next I didn't know one. Yeah, Scurry was in there. <laughs> Sorry. And of course, we're hearing that because we have the Oscar nominations this morning. That is the Samuel Goldwyn Theater in Beverly Hills. In just a few seconds, making the all important announcements will be Anne Hathaway. She was nominated last year for Best Actress for the movie Rachel Getting Married. She'll be joined by the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Science President Tom Chirac. They are coming from the Samuel Golden Theater in Beverly Hills in just a few seconds. Give me some popcorn. Mm -hmm. Give me some popcorn. <laughs> Time is right. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I'm Tom Shirk, president of the Academy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We've got some news to break this morning. But before we do, please welcome the very talented actress and an Oscar nominee herself last year, Anne Hathaway. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Good morning, everyone. The 2009 nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Supporting Role are Penelope Cruz in Nine, Vera Farmiga in Up in the Air, Maggie Gyllenhaal in Crazy Heart, Anna Kendrick in Up in the Air, and Monique in Precious. Ian? Mm -hmm. Thank you. For Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role, the nominees are Matt Damon in Invictus, Woody Harrelson in The Messenger, Christopher Plummer in The Last Station, Stanley Tucci in The Lovely Bones, and Christoph Waltz in Inglorious Bastards. For best performance by an actress in a leading role, the nominees are Sandra Bullock in The Blind Side. Helen Mirren in The Last Station, Carrie Mulligan in An Education, Gabourey Sinebe in Precious, and Meryl Streep in Julie and Julia. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role are Jeff Bridges in Crazy Heart, George Clooney in Up in the Air, Woo! Colin Firth in A Single Man, Morgan Freeman in Invictus, and Jeremy Renner in The Hurt Locker. That's good. The best achievement in directing, James Cameron for Avatar, Catherine Bigelow for The Hurt Locker, Quentin Tarantino for Inglorious Bastards, yeah. Lee Daniels for Precious, and Jason Reitman for Up in the Air. That was good, too. Thank you. For Best Original Screenplay, the nominees are Mark Boll for The Hurt Locker, Quentin Tarantino for Inglorious Bastards, Alessandro Camone and Oren Moverman for The Messenger, Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen for A Serious Man, and Pete Docter, Bob Peterson, and Tom McCarthy for Up. For Adapted Screenplay, we have Neil Blumkamp and Terry Tatchell for District 9. Nick Hornby for An Education. Jesse Armstrong, Simon Blackwell, Armando Iannucci, and Tony Roach for In the Loop. Jeffrey Fletcher for Precious. And Jason Reitman and Sheldon Turner for Up in the Air. For best foreign language film we have, from Israel, Ajami. From Argentina, El Secreto de Sus Ojos. From Peru, The Milk of Sorrow. From France, Un Prophet. And from Germany, The White Ribbon. For Best Animated Feature, the nominees are Coraline, Henry Selleck. Fantastic Mr. Fox, Wes Anderson. The Princess and the Fraud, John Musker and Ron Clements. The Secret of Kells, Tom Moore. And Up, Pete Docter. And finally, I'm pleased to announce that the 10 films selected as Best Picture nominees for 2009 are 
Avatar, James Cameron and John Landau producers. The Blind Side, nominees to be determined. <laughs> District 9, Peter Jackson and Carolyn Cunningham, producers. And Education, Finola Dwyer and Amanda Posey, producers. The Hurt Locker, nominees to be determined. Inglorious Bastards, Lawrence Bender, producer. Precious, Lee Daniels, Sarah Siegel Magnus and Gary Magnus, producers. A Serious Man, Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen, producers. Up, Jonas Rivera, producer. And Up in the Air, Daniel Dubiecki, Ivan Reitman and Jason Reitman, producers. Please join us in a little more than a month on Sunday, March 7th, when we find out who goes home with the Oscar. It will be a night to remember. See you then. So we have Chris Connolly here again, and, and you were doing the numbers the whole way. This is a huge showdown. It's, it's going to be amazing. The Bigelow posses and the Cameron posses will be rolling large at the Oscars. <laughs> Nine nominations each for Avatar and for The Hurt Locker. Oh, Eight for Inglorious Bastards. That's a surprising number. And the Academy got just what they wanted in Best Picture. They nominated The Blind Side, the kind of movie that never would have made it mm -hmm. in the old five-nomination world. And District 9, a film people really liked, a popcorn movie, would never have had a shot before. It's great to see that getting a Best Picture nomination. But there is a lot of conflict still to go. Yeah. It's going to be quite a battle, yeah. It really is. So uh, looking at uh, Best Actress for Meryl Streep was, was for Julie and Julia. It wasn't for It's Complicated that she mm -hmm. got the, the nod for and that. Sandra Bullock. I mean, this is just, uh, this is really stacked. Yeah, that's going to be quite a showdown. And then Helen Mirren is back yeah. again for the last station. So we've got a lot of, got a lot of firepower there. I think a lot of people see it as Meryl versus Sandra Bullock. So those two going head to head for very different roles is going to be a lot of fun. To